straight through to Tyra. Holdacre is uh, dropped deep. Very experienced midfielder. Nayla. And here's King. Good first touch and he's got past uh, Coslo. Here's Mandeville looking for the opening. It's a nice little dummy from Dobra. Cross comes in and that easily could have been an own goal, but uh, some good inventive uh, play there from the uh, Spirates. Mandeville again. Oh, that's a goal. It's a very, very simple goal. And Altrium have conceded yet again from a set uh, piece. Mandeville's corner and unchallenged. Jamie Grimes, the captain, has risen. And it's a simple header over Ethan uh, Ross. Uh, perhaps Ross didn't, didn't quite get his positioning right there because he, he, he seemed a little bit uh, tentative. It was all too easy, and yes, the, uh, qu qu quite clearly, Ethan Ross started to come for it and then realised as he got a couple of paces towards the ball that it was going to elude him, he had too much on it, and there was Grimes lurking beyond the far post. So once Ethan Ross was committed, then the, the header from Grimes was go going in one place. Jones, from Clark, there's Marriott, Osborne, it's a good ball to Con Clark, nice piece of play from Con Clark and it's a decent uh, effort, uh, Tyra had it uh, covered, knew it was going wide but that's much much better from the Robins. They're really dictating everything and they're, they're having some real uh, joy down this right flank through Jeff King and uh, there was a, a really slick, uh, quick move just a few moments ago that so nearly opened, uh, altering him up. Oldacre on the ball again, he started the move, he's got a chance for a shot. That's over the, uh, I would say, suggest this game is, is looking like a game where 1-0 might not be a bad scoreline for the Robins at half-time because I'm, I'm sure that Phil Parkinson and Neil Sorville will be able to, to sort something out in the during the half-time interval. At 1-0, that's very doable. Oh, that's a dangerous one. And it's over the bar from Tom uh, Naylor, but uh, the Robins didn't look too comfortable defending that free kick. No, they didn't, no, they didn't deal with that w at all uh, well, and in the end, uh, Naylor couldn't execute the overhead kick, but it was certainly an opportunity for him. That we're going to play two up front. Uh, yeah, Rinny, right. Liga, yeah. Linney, I think, is, is drifting out to uh, replace uh, Koslo, which is the, the obvious, uh, the obvious uh, change to make. Well done, Elliot Osborne. Really good play. Do you know that's a great ball from Elliot Osborne? He's done really well. For, for me, probably been the best. Oh, that's a superb play from Lenny. This is better from Altrincham. Pulled back. Good interception from Naylor. But certainly, this game is evening up. Altrincham. Definitely in with a shout here. Old Acre, oh, it's a really good ball, but James Jones spots the danger. Yeah, eating up the ground. That was, Marriott. That was a very rare instance of uncertainty in the Chesterfield rear guard, wasn't it, Brian? It just needed somebody to be on hand uh, in an Altrincham shirt to capitalise on it on the edge of the six yard box, but you could sense the, the unease there in the Chesterfield defence. Absolutely, it's a magnificent ball by Elliot Osborne, who possibly has been Altrincham's best player. Here's Lewis Banks. Plays it forward, and it's uh, well taken there, just ahead of uh, Dior Angus by uh, Harry uh, Tyra, but we're beginning to open them up. Here's Colclough. First uh, real touch, I think, who has been playing on the right hand side. That's a really good piece of play by Regan Lenny. But Kokov's been playing on the right uh, for the Spy Rights. And here comes Con Clark. Plays it back to uh, Linney. Marriott. Banks is out wide. Marriott 
turns back, finds Osborne. Linney, this is promising. Osborne, it's a decent effort, always uh, rising over Harry Tyra's uh, bar, but uh, good move uh, from the Robins. Yeah, uh, a brilliant ball uh, from uh, Regan Linney uh, to set things going down the, the, the left flank. And here comes, oh, it's a good piece of play by Eddie Jones. Peels for handball. Ignored by the referee. Here's James Jones. I'm trying to pick this defence. Here's Amluz. Oh, it's a good ball. Here's Angus. Yes! Dion Angus! What a lovely goal. He's opened his account for the Robins. And it's ultra good one. Just a fair one. Absolutely brilliant goal. Amaluzo, Dior Angus, touches and passes and vision from both to set. Angus was the one in the end who was through, but he still had plenty to do. He had the keeper to beat from the edge of the area and he couldn't be more precise with the finish just inside the left-hand post. Driven low and hard, gave the keeper no chance whatsoever and that's no more than Altrincham deserves. There's only five unbeaten sides in the league and two of them at the minute remaining unbeaten. Yep, yeah, a, a lot in a real battle here for supremacy. Let's see if either side can do it. I mean, Chesterfield will react, but equally, Altshagum's uh, uh, surely philosophy should be, let's go for a winner because they're in the as ascendancy. They're playing all their best football. Let's see what they That's a great save by uh, Tyra, but wonderful, wonderful approach play by Altrincham. Banks, uh, Amaluzo, Angus, and then Linney. Here comes uh, Elliot Osborne. It's a great ball. Oh, and, oh, 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 that is a strong challenge by uh, Regan Linney. It's a good header. Oh, Linney's onto it. Oh, it's a decent effort into the side netting. But that's what Regan Linney can uh, do. And Chesterfield are struggling to cope with him. We're altering and we're completely outclassed in the first half. They could easily have won this game, They've had the better opportunities. The goalkeeper has been busier in the Chesterfield goal than the Altrium goal. Well, here's Anna it's a poor ball by Horton. Nice ball to Angus, he's got an overload to uh, Conclark. Conclark, can he cut inside? Shoots, comes to Angus. Yes! Goal! Theo Angus! Yeah, oh, that's magnificent! Altia are absolutely tearing them apart here. And Chesterfield are on the brink of their first defeat of the season. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. What were, you, what were you saying about we haven't seen a great deal of Dior Angus? Well, we certainly have now. That was a real poachious finish. It really was. Con, Con Clark made the opportunity. His shot was blocked, spun to. It bounced it to, into the path of Dior Angus and he spun on it and crashed the first time volley past the keeper. No stopping that. And just have a look at those celebrations that included Ethan Ross, who ran the full length of the pitch to join in the massive Altrincham bodies celebrating that at the, at the golf road end. Naylor finds there it is. There it is. It has finished. Altrincham two, Chesterfield one. It's a famous, famous victory for the Robins. They've turned it round with two late goals after Chesterfield had dominated the first half.